Hello, Libra. It's time for your weekly reading. This is if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra, October 24th through the 30th, 2019. What's up? Hit that thumbs up for mom if this one resonates. If not, take a look at your rising, your moon, your Venus sign. All right, it's general, so if you need something a little more personalized, I've included my website below. <laughs> Just saw the Justice card, so there you are, making your big fat appearance. So my link is below, so you can go book your private reading. I've also included my Instagram. Sometimes I say bad words if you're new to my channel and it's offensive. Hard left right? As I always say, but I hope you stay because we have fun and saying bad words really isn't the end of the world. It's not. It's an expression. It's passion and well, and passionate. All right, let's see what's up. So typically my readings are love, but it's just whomever you have on your mind while you're watching the reading. So I've already pre-shuffled. We are set to go. Let's see what's up. Coming into the current moment, what do we have? We have the 10 of wands, I'll adjust that camera once I get this laid out. What's influencing or the challenge? It's the Queen of Pentacles, maybe a Capricorn. Could be work-related. What's on your mind? Yeah, see the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. Property with the Ace of Pentacles. Stability. A gift. A new beginning. A commitment. Something like that. What happened in the recent past? The Nine of Wands. What's the situation for the reading? What's going on? Yeah, see, look, the king of pentacles. We have a queen and a king. This is about, for some of you, this is money. And for others of you, like work, career, money. For others of you, this is a, a partnership. We have a king and a queen of the same suit here. All right. This is stability long term. What's coming into the near future? What will you experience? The ace of swords, Aquarian energy. How do you see yourself right now? The king of wands. Ooh, look at you. Leo Sag Aries energy looking right at this King of Pentacles. I'm getting a very strong like entrepreneur career going for something, some sort of um, promotion, something like that. Take it how it resonates. All right. This King of Wands is very confident and goes for what they want. All right. What's external to you? The Eight of Swords. That's the energy coming in. What's going on in your emotions right now? The Eight of Wands movement change, manifestation, a lot of back and forth communication. What is in the outcome? The nine of pentacles. Again, work looks really good. Work, finance, money, all that kind of stuff. The nine of pentacles is a very secure, uh, confident, independent energy. It's nice. All right, let's see what's going on, Libra. Bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. So somebody's worried about stability, either with a job and money or within a relationship, marriage. Some of you guys ended a commitment, a marriage, something like that with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Let's start clarifying and see what's going on. Libra, the 24th through the 30th. For those of you who are worried about, and it looks like you are, because the Eight of Swords can be frustration, thinking about something over and over again, it looks it looks good. I understand the energy right now is a lack of that stability, right? Maybe finances, maybe you didn't get a lump sum of money, a promotion, a payout, something like that, or there was a divorce or a breakup. But the outcome looks pretty good as far as being secure, right? With that nine of pentacles, money and career look good. Let's see what's going on. That's Virgo energy for me, typically with the nine of pentacles. All right. A lot of earth, a lot of pentacles, a lot of um, material energy here. All right, Libra, the 24th through the 30th. I hope everybody had a nice birthday. Those of you that have already celebrated, which the majority of you probably have. All right, let's see what's up. We're going to cut it, do it, and chat about it, and see what your week looks like. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, why is this 10 of pentacles, though, here in reverse right now? It's a completion of a cycle. Um, why the 10 of pentacles in reverse for Libra? What is it? Yeah, the two of pentacles. I can't control the cards that come out. This looks really about stability and security in some way, okay? 
There's a lack of that right now, though, is the overall energy right now. Again, it could have been a job loss. It could have been you had to have a big payout. And with the Two of Pentacles, you're juggling. You're going back and forth. You're trying to budget and regain the stability because one of the Pentacles has to be dropped. You might really be watching your money. Look, and then I look, Eight of Pentacles work, putting hard work, but it's, it's work. Look at all these Pentacles. All right, that's the overall energy coming in right now. And it's causing burdens with this 10 of wands. What's the 10 of wands about? Why is this here? Another 10, so another completion of a cycle. Look at that, Ten of, another 10, 10 of swords in reverse. And remember, I said that whatever burdens or worry, whether this is money, job, relationship, you're closing out the cycle. You're going you're gonna to heal. You're going to close it out. The pressure, the burdens, the Ten of Wands can just be like very, very, very busy. You have three tens in this reading, but you are healing with that Ten of Swords in reverse. It's getting better. It's still there, but it's getting better. And you'll just depart with the Knight of Swords. Could be closing out a very long, burdensome, painful cycle where there's a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. Knight of Swords could certainly be you. I typically think of the Knight of Swords as a Gemini energy. But it's just getting on the horse and traveling quickly. It's leaving a situation that just was not stable with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Again, it could have been a breakup or a job. Some of you are leaving a relationship. Others of you are leaving a job. And it's because of the Queen of Pentacles. This is the influence or the challenge. It's to get that stability. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, the Five of Cups. Because there's loss with the Five of Cups. Again, money relationship. Scorpionic energy on your mind is abundance something new something that you can plant water take care of and it grows right what's this ace of pentacles stable more pentacles seven of pentacles on your mind is investing with the seven of pentacles really reflecting on the past and now that the universe on your mind you want this new pentacle you want to be able to grow something here and you are invested why is the seven of pentacles here for libra page of i mean Every pentacle is like coming out in this. For This is for somebody. This is definitely for somebody. It, page of pentacles is an offer. Here's a pentacle. I mean, the page of pentacles is a student, an apprentice, the learning a trade. It's fresh. It's young. A lot of newness here. And you taking a look at that, at the investment of the past. I've put X, Y, Z. Now what's going to become of it? Page of Pentacles, look at that big pentacle. Sometimes they're like, hey, can I have a loan? You know, or can you invest in me? Can you give me an offer? Something like that. Now the past, you guys were the nine of wands. Why is this nine of wands here in the past? You experienced this in the past. It's the nine of wands. The six of cups, something to do with your children, your family, probably. The Nine of Wands is tired, exhausted. They've been to hell and back. They'll persevere. Why? Because of the Six of Cups. Because having to nurture someone or something, right, with the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about? It's going to, you're pushing forward. Temperance, sign of Sagittarius, being very patient, balancing out a situation, bringing harmony back to a situation as well. This is all happening because of this King of Pentacles. What's this King of Pentacles? Why is this here in the foundation for Libra? The Five of Wands, conflict around stability, conflict around a long-term commitment, marriage, conflict around a job or something like that. This is all about security and stability for the future. But with the Five of Wands, People are wanting different things here. What's this five of wands? Yeah, the seven of swords. Strategizing. I think a lot of you are strategizing with the seven of swords, more uh, Aquarian energy, how to become the king of pentacles. A lot of you guys um, were dealing with the king of pentacles, probably, and conflicted with this person. Obviously, somebody was avoiding, being deceptive, the lovers, a lot of Gemini. I think this is contracts. I think this is a partnership of some sort. I'm getting a lot of career and work for this. All right. Coming into the near future, though, you will experience the Ace of Swords. Why is this coming into the near future for Libra, Aquarian Energy? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Look at all this newness. You have abundance and security coming. However, this resonates for you. It's coming. Victory. A new breakthrough, a new idea with the Ace of Swords, something that brings clarity and that ah, aha, like breaking through something. And with the Ace of Cups, it's something that you love, right? A very, very much new. Um, this is an emo this is an offer. What's this uh, Ace of Cups? New love for a lot of you. And with the Nine of Swords, 
you're gonna have some anxiety about the newness here. You're really gonna be thinking about it. And I think it's because you've been struggling with this for so long. It's like once it comes into the near future, you're like, what the hell? Not of swords can even be just up late at night. Like you can't sleep, right? You're losing sleep because you're thinking about something a lot and there's some anxiety because it's a partnership with the two of cups. Some of you have a new job offer. Some of you have a new relationship, but there's some worry and some fear around it. I feel like that nine of swords is more fear, right? Because it, I think it's going to happen suddenly. And I think for most of you, it's very, very new. And it's something that you've really been waiting for for a while. Because you see yourself as the king of wands taking action. You feel confident, all right? You you know, because the king of wands is all about security, confidence, going for what they want. Entrepreneurship. What's this? And the two of wands. Traveling. A lot of you have fire in your chart. Making a decision. You see yourself right now as making plans for the future. The two of wands isn't just indecision. It's picking a path. It's it's after the ace of wands. After you have a new idea, now you're picking a path to plan for your future. You have the whole world in front of you. Some of you are going to be traveling, but I think more so you see yourself right now as picking a new direction and feeling pretty confident about it. Now, external to you is this eight of swords. Why is this Eight of Swords coming in for Libra? What is this? The Page of Wands. Good news. Some sort of communication. It's typically good news. It's the, again, it can be very creative, very action, goal-oriented energy communication, but it has something to do with manifesting and going for something. And it's because of the Eight of Swords. It's feeling frustrated, right? It's feeling like you're just thinking about something over and over. Kind of feel like whether this is a, a new work opportunity or whether this is a new relationship, it's coming. And you guys are putting yourself, you're, give, you're worrying a lot, almost for nothing. And it's never for nothing. I get it. But the Eight of Swords is kind of living in that mental prison like you put yourself there. But here comes the good news. You're waiting on this with the Page of Wands. What's this page of wands? Why is this coming in for Libra? The moon. Cancerian Pisces energy. Fear. You guys are fearful of something here. The moon is things that are hidden. Things that are, that are going on behind the scenes. And it's being unclear or uncertain. There's a lot of um, frustration and a lot of like fear. Because the Eight of Swords can be fear too. Why the moon though? Why is this moon here? External. The Six of Wands. About being in the spotlight. I'm getting also too, Libra, the feeling. And what I'm feeling with this energy too. Is you have a lot of good shit coming your way through work. A new job. A promotion. Something like that. A new relationship. But you have fear about being in the spotlight like being recognized in some way it's almost like kind of meek energy you see yourself going for it making plans feeling confident but then when it comes in whether it's a new relationship whatever this is where you're getting a lot of attention and recognition you're almost afraid of it and I think it's because you guys have been through hell and back basically you have others to care for right in your emotions, you want it. Like, you want to take action. You're waiting for a big change. You're waiting for some sort of communication with the Eight of Wands. What's this about? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Balance. Somebody to give to you that is value, that you can touch, that you can feel. The Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving. You're waiting on that through communication or through the action of, of somebody else. You want something that's balanced and reciprocated. That's going on in your emotions. Now, the outcome has the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy for me. What's this Nine of Pentacles about? What's this Nine of Pentacles? The Eight of Swords in reverse. See, you're able to release from living in that entrapment because the Nine of Pentacles value, security, stability. The Nine of Pentacles knows their worth. They can make it on their own. They get that job. They have enough money to go around. But they also, the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, takes care of themselves inside and out, right? Which is going to allow you to release from living in that mental prison and feeling trapped in your thoughts. So for those of you that this is a job or a promotion or something to do with work or something like that, I think a lot of you guys have a lot of fear and anxiety and it all turns out in your favor, it looks like. All right. Now, as far as relationships go, I think you do have an offer coming in. I think you have recognition. 
And I think that it kind of scares you a little bit, right? You guys are, might be even more focused on your career or things that just make you happy and you're going towards that. It could even be traveling and whatever offer comes for love or anything, any other relationship, you're just kind of like, whoa, it's, it's very meek energy. And you decide to just kind of do it alone, right? Go alone. The Knight of Pentacles could even be like you travel with friends. You're just very single and independent. You don't want to be entrapped in any way. You don't want to be tied and bound. Why is this Eight of Swords in reverse? Libra. Yeah, see, and you just walk away with the Eight of Cups. You're not into it. If it's a relationship, you guys aren't into whatever somebody's bringing you. If it's career, you guys are moving towards the two additional cups by getting out of that mental prison, you know, going towards your dream. The Eight of Cups is, yeah, they're turning their back, but it's to go towards the two additional cups, towards your happiness, towards your happily ever after. You're letting the moon guide you. All right. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope it helps. Again, it looks like good energy. You guys are just fearful of something. And the energy is showing you really have no reason to be fearful. Okay, it's good. All right, loving you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.